I'm going to show you how to sync the customer history up to your customer portal. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like from the customer side when they're signed into your customer portal. And that way you kind of know what's going on in there from the customer perspective. First thing is, if you want all the latest information, invoice history, um, QuickBooks invoice history, QuickBooks payment, QuickBooks quote history, uh, the first thing you need to do is start with the QuickBooks maintenance menu. So along the top of the software, click the Update QuickBooks button. It'll bring this up. Make sure you have QuickBooks open on the machine. You can then select QuickBooks invoice history, put in a date range, and click to import. You can also do the same thing with your payment and your quote history. Once you've imported all that, that information resides under the customer detail. You'll have all that history in here. You can view historical stuff. Um, there's also some tabs here that may show you history, such as closed tasks and things like that. So once you have all the stuff in the desktop, we now need to get it to the website so that your customer portal displays all of the history for your customers. And please keep in mind that the information is only as up to date as your last sync with your customer portal. So if you have some new tasks that have been closed and your customer is complaining that they don't see a, a copy of the tickets or the tasks, you have to go to Sync Mobile Devices and from this top drop-down. Only use the top drop-down. Ignore this even though it says portal. Everything from this green sync button below will be disappearing soon. First thing you want to do is you want to select Sync Customer Notes and Additional Info. That'll push up any historical stuff for tasks. Uh, hit Sync along with any other history we can find. Once that's done, you then want to sync your task history. Hit Sync. The next one is going to be your payment and then your invoice history. Hit Sync. Once it's done, your portal is now fully up to date. Now this is what happens when your uh, customers go and sign into your portal. First thing is they're brought to the uh, login screen when they get there. They have to input their username and password. If they have not created, created an account yet, they have to click on Create My Account. Fill this out. There will be an email that is sent to their email address. Uh, they will confirm that they are a valid user from there. And then you'll be able to uh, link their account. And in the other video, we'll show you how to link the account in the portal for the admin stuff. So once they've confirmed their account and you've linked it all up, they can go ahead and sign into the portal. And um, you'll notice that there's a lot of information here displayed on the home screen. First thing is you have this switch account along the top. You can tie any user account to multiple customers. So let's say you want to know what's going on with 10 of your customer accounts. You can tie your account together with those. Um, currently, I'm only tied to one account. Again, if you want to know how to do that, there's going to be an admin video on the portal that will show you how that happens. So right now I'm just tied to Brazil Food Market. Make sure you select that first to get all that information. And this is history of um, invoices that I've done for them. They can click View to see a copy of them. I've also got a history or an open task list. I currently have one open task for this customer. And you can click View to view that. Uh, quotes pending approval, I've got one of those. It gives you a basic idea of your route summary when you're on the route schedule, what routes you're on the schedule for. They can click request a service to request some changes or, or a new service. A lot of people are going to notice this make a payment here. This only kicks in. You have to send us your merchant service information. So if you use uh, QuickBooks to take payments, if you use BluePay or another big payment service or merchant service on one of your websites, you'll basically generate their um, IPNs, I believe they call them. It's, it's basically a set of code. Get that generated. Send an email to development at westromsoftware.com, all one word. And from there, the developers can kick in the payments if you want that kicked in. You'll notice that uh, Brazil Food Market, that's the company that I'm looking at right now. You'll see all their contact information. So that's what the splash screen, the home screen, is going to give them. Then they have a lot of other options. They can go to account detail, which gives them the information that you have on them, their location, their contacts, things like that. Additional info, these are tabs that are created in the software. There's junk on these for my customer, at least, but yours may have valid stuff. 
You can click on Notes History. That's a history of all completed tasks. You see them all here. That's just a quick glance. You could do searches along the top. You can also search here. If we go to Service, you can also see your task history here. And it gives you a little better history. You can see the task numbers, all that information. You can click View to view information on those tasks. We can also see the Open Task List. We can see our invoice history, which I have a lot of history here. Again, click View to see information. This is what your customers see. You have quotes history. We have a make a payment area. Again, you've got to send us your information to be able to make the, uh, send us your merchant account to be able to make payments taken from this area. They can see payment history if they have done payments here. They can look at the route schedule, see what uh, what you have on the route schedule for. I have two routes for this customer on the same day, two different technicians. You've got a route schedule history. You've got route tickets. You can see open route tickets. And the last major thing is they can request a service. Maybe they need you to come out. Maybe you didn't do a good job at the pool. Maybe you did a great job and uh, one of the trees fell over and now the pool's full of junk. Um, or any other industry could have a variety of issues. From there, they just go ahead and click the request a service, fill out a description of what's going on. They could put in their company name, email, let you know how urgent it is. They can even request a specific time. They can attach images if it's something you need to see. Once they're done, they just hit submit. And that's it, that's what the portal does. It gives your customers an area to see all of their history, everything they've done with you and everything that's on the schedule to be done with your company. Um, again, if you want, review the admin video. We'll show you how you can tie your account to multiple customers if you need to see something that they're seeing.